Questions. <laughs> There's some really funny questions here. Um, let's start with a funny one. Let's have some fun, right? All right, Jack, I want to know, how many people in this room, look around, how, do you, this is, do you have the microphone? I don't come down to your job and knock dicks out of your mouth. Let me run my show. Just kidding, I love you. I'm drinking blue moon. So, how many people in this room have you had sex with, and who was the best? Go. All I can say is the night is young. 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 Uh, I can probably... Uh, you know, you know, kiss and tell. You can know who you are because you're still feeling it. You're right, I'm very sore. Also, you told me that wax was going to go away. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for our first contestant, Jack Dyer. <laughs> On the top of her head, a bow around her neck, and some platform heels. What made her interesting and what made her exotic and wonderful to the world was the one and only word that she knew that she would repeat over and over again. And that's the same word I say to the leather community. And that word is more. More. So, my intention, if I should happen to get this honor, is to take where I'm starting and get more. And bring more to the community and bring more to Precinct, and bring more to all of you. So, it won't, won't be the last time you see me. Yeah. I thought I'd show you pretty much most of it. Uh, but uh, those of you who know, you know that there is more, right? Yeah. There is more. Yeah. I thank you so much for indulging in the story. And uh, I look forward to seeing you out there in the community. Yeah. And uh, let's, let's make a difference, all right? Yeah. Quick, I'll keep this very short and brief. Spike, you really represented. Not only are you a leather man, but you are an artist, and you are a gender bender, and you did an amazing job this year, showing us that you can be anything you want to be. And most importantly, he proved that you can wear a pair of heels, you can wear a corset, and still be a man, and explore your feminine side. And that's what this is truly really about. when I met this young man, it's just like when he walks into a room, he really does light up a room yeah. with his energy, his beauty, and his willingness to be open and be who he is. And Spike, you are a beautiful human being and a man I am proud to call you brother. Woo! And with that said, we want to present you. We're, there's a kitty in the audience named Romaldo. Romaldo, where are you at? Hello, kitty. We present you with your big boy patch and welcome to the Los Angeles Band of Brothers. Yes. Welcome, welcome. I want to applause for Spike and Gable, everybody. I want to say, I want to, one last time, I want to have a moment with all of our contestants. I said this earlier when you guys were on the stage, but every single thing that you guys said when you were on stage today is exactly what everybody in our community should be saying every single day. You guys' messages were about diversity, inclusion, and equity, and you guys are doing everything that you should be doing. Whoever does not win tonight, I hope that you go on and compete for another leather title. If you don't compete for another leather title, I hope that you'll be uh, involved with another nonprofit LGBT organization here in our community. And to whoever does win, I hope that you will bring your brothers along with you everywhere that you go. If you're gonna call each other brothers, treat each other like brothers. Also, wait a minute, there's this big man. I don't wanna play anymore. And that's it, I'm gonna play. I can't hear you. Jeremy, can you just please confirm with me one more time? I've been drinking.
Pick number two! All right, everybody, your first runner-up from Mr. Precinct Leather 2019 is Jack. That means that the next Mr. Precinct Leather 2019 is Elliot! 